Cain is hoping to cash in on being made fun of. There's only two rules. All donuts must be gone and no purging. If you must puke, turn the other way. Here's the money shot. A bit of a kerfuffle in Coquitlam this morning. Oh, the humidity! Hi, <laughs> Karumba! Gone is the 7-Eleven on this corner. With not a single politician on hand, it's being transformed. For the next month, this will be an ode to all things Simpson. I've got a squishy, a four uh, sprinklicious donuts, a couple of Marge straws, and a six pack of Buzz. Thank you, please come again. And the customers are eating it up. People here, very friendly, keep going. It's very good, thank you. Well, dough, this is obviously a PR stunt, but it's a good one. Maybe. <laughs> a tie-in with The Simpsons movie coming out later this month. <laughs> the greatest Simpsons family adventure of all time. <laughs> what this is actually called is reverse product placement, a practice that turns fake movie products into saleable items. I'm buying Buzz. <laughs> Only 12 7-Elevens across North America were chosen for the transformation. This Coquitlam store is the only one in Canada to undergo the makeover. We've now become Springfield for a month. Is this a good thing? It's a great thing. Chosen, say the PR gurus, for its suburban similarity to Homer's hometown. They're going to destroy Springfield! Destroy Springfield? Or promote the heck out of a movie in a convenience store chain? Just look into your heart and you will find the answer. Deborah Goebel, CBC News, Coquitlam.